Hello, and welcome to another episode of Game Central. We're still on Season 8 in Bit Life. Seventh episode of that, and playing as Elijah Law. So, I am a male who was adopted as a baby in Hull, United Kingdom. I was put up for adoption after my birth mother determined that she wanted a better life for me. My birthday is August 17th. I'm a Leo. My name is Elijah Law. My mother is Elsie Robson, a mobile app developer aged 26. My other mother is Heidi Law, a hairdresser aged 29. We have a family cat named Moshi, or Moki. Nuclear negotiations between the Czech Republic and Jamaica have intensified. Nothing at two. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. Your parents just adopted a baby boy, a boy named Mubarak. Your new adopted brother. You and your adopted brother Mubarak are squabbling about whose turn it is to play with the iPad. Starting at St. Ben's Primary School. Your classmate Pip wants to become your friend. Pip Matthews. Your parents just adopted a baby boy named Leo, your new adopted brother. Your mother wants to take you and a, a, you to a record store to check out some vinyl. Wow, the playground is actually empty. I'll take the swing. Your parents want to take you and your brothers on a budget family vacation to Crete, Greece. Your classmate Joan just stole your teacher Mrs. Jeong's tablet from her desk while she wasn't looking. Headmaster time. Ow! Your family cat Moki died at the age of 15. She was laid to rest after passing from natural causes. Your parents just adopted a baby boy named Frankie, your new adopted brother, Frankie Law. I'm now starting at whole secondary. Your classmate Spencer wants to become your friend, Spencer Barnes. Yep. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a girl in your class named Kara Sutton. Your classmate Matilda has asked you out. You have an opportunity to attend a pool party that one of your friends is throwing. While sitting in your science teacher, Mrs. Flitwick's class, you witness your classmate Ella randomly pull the emergency safety shower and now the entire room is flooding. Your girlfriend Matilda wants to break up with you. Keep the status quo. <laughs> he graduated from secondary school. Well, we don't graduate in this country from there. Oh, charming. A good friend of yours is freaking out that today is Friday the 13th. By the way, it's Monday the 16th. And she thinks something awful is going to happen. In looking for comfort, she asks you what the worst thing 
that's ever happened to you on a Friday the 13th. Yeah, I can't remember anything bad because it's just a normal day. While lounging by the pool, your best friend Pip confesses that he is feeling insecure about his body and wants to get plastic surgery. Okay, seek higher education. Your adopted brother Frankie has asked you to take him to practice sumo. Okay, I'll have a degree in physics. So a physician would be a good a good place to start with having with finding a job. But it's not on the list of qualified jobs. Need a job. So I'll become a banker. Your bank was recently robbed and you are asked what you think the bank should do to prevent it from happening again. A young lady named Penelope wants to become your friend. Penelope Kane. You have a big bulging bump on your big toe that seems to be growing by the day. Dr. Eastbourne. You are checking out a car show with your friend Spencer... When he asks you what type of vehicle you think he should buy. Your mother passed away at the age of 57. She was killed and she was shot and killed by a bystander in a bank robbery. While on a trip to the mall, you encounter a hobo giving you the stink eye. Pretend like I don't see him. Let him go then, the loser. Keep it as a pet. A man named Bryn wants to become your friend. Bryn James. On national or on international day for tolerance, you decide to make a resolution to be more tolerant towards some of the other people in your life. But with so many different groups, you're not sure where to start and decide to do some soul searching to see if a particular group jumps out at you. Good place to start. <sighs> your co-worker Luke wants to become your friend. I'm going to leave. That's what most impatient people would do. Offering me support.
to either go house shopping or if he used to help. A man named Gary wants to become your friend. Gary Ashford. No, no, no. I don't take crazy people. Ow! A chick named Vanessa wants to become your... F well, no, 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 no. have more than one best friend. Your friend Luke just handed you a pirated copy of the movie E.T. saying you can keep it if you want. While well, hanging out with your best friend, Pip's girlfriend, Audrey, she confesses that she always fantasised about being with you. A server named Lottie says she would love to receive your big tip. Oh, your supervisor at work asks you which gift you think should be given to new customers who open a checking account. Give them a free checkbook. Clarence Batty, and he's not that crazy. Doesn't Batty mean crazy? Rupert, your supervisor at Whole Credit Union, is sponsoring a team building activity at yeah, go. A young lady you met during your lunch break has asked you on a date. Megan Chaplin, age 25, dating a 60-year-old. She's a countess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I guess the royals have so many scandals they can't actually keep up with them anyway. And look at that. Doctor, Doctor Bell. Your daughter, Viscountess Megan, is asking you to pay her college tuition. Let them be creative. Your thoroughbred horse Forrest just bit your son Viscount Rufus while being fed. Training not to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apologise to my followers. Look for them everywhere. What was that good health? Right, continue as my child. I inherited the horse. Listen and politely decline and died at 62. <laughs> and that, guys, is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be another one soon. Until then, bye-bye.